opinions given by the individual host and their guests do not necessarily reflect those of Para-X, its affiliates, or its sponsors. Natural. Metaphysical. Paranormal. You know, all those things you've been wondering about. Are you ready to go deeper into the realms of the unknown? I hope you've got your walking shoes on. Because life is an adventure. And this is the journey. Come on, let's go. Can't stop this. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, it's, it's stopped. Damn it. Welcome to the show, everyone. Hey, this is the Journey Radio Show. And hey, we're the She Squatchers. I'm Jen Cruz, your host. And I've got my trusty teammates on the line. I've got Jenna Grover. Hello, everybody. And Tammy Trichel. Hi, everyone. And the the other She Squatcher. I mean, I mean, Jason Kenzie. <laughs> she Squatcher. I'm a, I'm a He Squatcher. <laughs> You're a Bigfoot bait. Yes, yes. Although we gave you a Bigfoot bait t-shirt, you are yet to wear that when we're out in the field with you. Yeah, I, I tried to, but this outfit I had, or uh, that I have on, it got yeah. into a huge fight with uh, the She's Watcher shirt. It, it was like, I was trying to get yours on, but this mm-hmm. one was fighting with it. So, oh, so that won. It happens. Yeah, it won. Got it. We're going to have to grab your shirt and put some glow in the dark Bigfoot bait on there. That's some glow in the dark. <laughs> oh, funny. That's so funny. That we'll just splatter fun. him with a glow stick. There Hold him go. down and paint him. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to go. And you know what? Listen, if we have red um, glow stick, if you splash it on me and I get it in my eyes, I might be able to uh, be mistaken for a Bigfoot. Because my <laughs> eyes are glowing red the entire night. I like the way you think, Jason, but I just don't think so. <laughs> You're definitely yeah, not hearing it. Like, oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't want to say that, Tammy. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I didn't hear what she said. <laughs> We're tall enough. <laughs> I said he wasn't hairy enough. And... Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Tammy. I can hey, she said you were hairy stump. enough. Yeah, okay. No, well, like... there's that. <laughs> so, so there. Anyway, so let's tell the, the the audience who Jason Kenzie is in case they don't know, which I, I, I would find it hard to believe that they know us, that they don't know Jason. But right. Jason is like our other half. Anyway, um, <laughs> right, Jason? Right, Jason? Yep. Right. He really, he really is. He just, he's our brother cousin. Yes, he's our brother cousin. Well, I barely know who I am. So. <laughs> we'll tell you who exactly than Uncle who you Grandpa. are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's I'm the true. weird grandpa that just sits off in the corner just watching. With a camera. <laughs> chewing my crud. Yeah, right. <laughs> yep. They're all over With there all doing too. whatever. Suddenly, he turns into a cow holding <laughs> a camera. <laughs> but don't so, they eat crud? Or is that something else? Crud. It's, it's called, <laughs> when, when they're <laughs> chewing, it's called cud. Yeah. Is that what old people do? No, no, we're cows. talking about cows. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he's, uh, you know, he's, he looks like a cow. Oh, okay, okay. we'll be a bull. We'll be a bull. Okay, you know what? Let's carry on. All right. So for yeah. those who don't know Jason, Jason is the guy that, that follows us around with a camera. That, so, that really yeah. sounds creepy, yeah. doesn't it? In a good I way. Them. They actually <laughs> hit me with their car, and I just held on. <laughs> we kept feeling this. <laughs> I think there's I cows something. outside. <laughs> there's a trail of blood all the way down the road. <laughs> right? You must have hit a bird. <laughs> that just reminded me of when we were that was just reminded me when we were filming number nine searching for sasquatch number nine and john didn't stop to pick you up so we picked you up and there was no room for you <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. oh, that was it funny <laughs> yeah that was very uncomfortable but comfortable at the same time yeah, you loved every that. second yeah the only place to sit was on my lap 
and there's <laughs> barely enough room for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We all you fit. know what? When you we when we do these these outings, these adventures, these Bigfoot expeditions, you just have to go with the flow, and whatever that is, you just go with it. Not every not everything doesn't always work out, so you just have to, you know, you have to figure out MacGyver it, so to speak. Yes, I agree a hundred percent. But one thing you can always count on, I will fall down, <laughs> and I will laugh. Pretty much 99.9 center. Waiting. <laughs> waiting. I'm like, oh, she hasn't tripped for a while. Push. Don't <laughs> so, trip her if she doesn't fall. Well, that was a long, that was a long fall. Oh, Tammy, that would be a terrible thing to do, but I was just thinking how great it would look on camera. I mean, we'd totally be ready. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, you'd take one for the team. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Well, I'm not, not as, I'm not as hardcore as Jason, who falls down a massive hill, and then because the guy didn't get it on camera, he has, it was an accident, he so yeah. he does it again. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. How about when I tried to uh, do that flip up onto that uh, hay bale? Uh, wheat, you know, hay bale. I just watched that today. I just watched 10 for the first time. I was like, oh, I what? watched it with my daughter. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. watch, watch. <laughs> Yeah, and I thought that my feet would stop there on the edge, like right on top. I didn't realize it was too long because, you know, I'm a tall guy. <laughs> You're <laughs> I, a very long-legged man. <laughs> but I recovered really fast. You did. You but you popped right back up. <laughs> yeah, you really do. I like, did it all on purpose. I was searching for the grass man in a pile of grass, uh, rolled up grass. There you go. In Minnesota, where the grass man is yeah <laughs> but it makes for good film it sure, yeah. sure was fun to watch <laughs> yeah it was one yeah. of my favorite things about that whole trip was when we tried to feed you to the wood chipper in Fargo oh yes <laughs> yeah that was fun that was actually that was actually a pretty highlight to actually go to well I don't think it was the actual um no, the wood actual chipper, was but outside. still it was still kind of neat to see because I love that movie mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you can tell everybody in Can Can Canada. Ah, oh, why do I always do that? Because <laughs> I call it Canada. It's okay. I'm not going to America again. It's a what? Americana. <laughs> <laughs> I love going to America. Just follow me. Look down. I, I hope it didn't show my shorts. <laughs> it did. It's I, I, I hope not. It's a good I thing see. you're wearing shorts. I'm wearing shorts too, Jenna. <laughs> I yeah, see. but these are really short shorts. Is it moving now? Okay, I'm good. I see Jeremy oh, Olsen. Like this. Go back and forth like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see Jeremy's in the chat room and he's asking, was it your first show that you fell on a log? Is that for me or for Jason? Well, Jen, you're the one that falls all the time. Well, Jason no, but, falls, too. But Jason falls all the time, time too. Yeah, That's I, true. I, I've fallen off of logs a lot. Yep. That's one thing. So the one thing about when you're, the things that we're doing or I'm doing is I need to keep myself uh, in shape and uh, pretty agile because I do fall a lot. And as you can see, the camera behind me, uh, I have to be very careful that when I do fall, that my hand stays up and, and oh, the camera beard. stays up, <laughs> especially when we're running around in mud or, or in swamps. And that's a heavy I, camera, too. I'm trying How much to save it? the camera uh, before I'm trying to save myself. Yeah, absolutely. But not this camera, but I have another camera, this one. And this one has actually helped me uh, being attacked by a bear. What? Or being, yeah, or being attacked by uh, an elk once. And all wow. I did was, all I did was I put it in front of me and the animal hit this instead of, and then uh, the thing with animals is if they bite on something and it, it's, it tastes different or, or it's a different texture, it shocks them. They don't know what's happened and they'll run off. Uh, oh, with, that's good uh, to know. with the elk, uh, the elk just came and I just put this in front of me like that to protect myself and the elk. It, a lot of times wild animals will actually uh, do a, um, they, 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 they fake running at you, like they'll run at you, but they're only they're trying to the scare bluff. you. Bluff it's church. only when you stand up for them the third time, they, they might actually come all the way. All right. 
So he's saying uh, that it was definitely a, J a question for Jason. He says, I think he was in Oregon and a tree almost fell on him. Oh, was I with, was I, I don't think that was Oregon. That was actually in the back country of British Columbia. Uh, and the tree had fallen beside us. And we were talking about. I remember that. Yeah, so we were talking about. So I gone into this this area where there's been many uh, Bigfoot sightings, and uh, some of the witnesses had said that they've. One witness said they saw a Bigfoot push down a tree. So it's we'll nighttime, right and we're all talking away, and uh, sure enough, a tree had fallen right beside us. Now, it was nighttime, so we didn't see what it was that I can't say a Bigfoot pushed it, uh, but we did find the tree and it did look like there was rot and maybe it was just by luck. Uh, there were some howls that happened. And what else? The cameraman ran for his life. Yeah. With my gonna... equipment and I was running <laughs> after him. Like, I know I was being greedy or I was being selfish. I'm like, just give me your my video camera and then you can run off because we're in the middle of the forest. Where, where are you going to go? Right. Want to that was how we fell in love with you and we decided we had to have you on our show and that was the beginning of the story when we saw your video we saw that first searching for sasquatch we we're like we have to have him we have to meet him so yeah yeah so yeah I, but there's been many times where trees have fallen <laughs> there was that one episode that i talked about because i what bothers me about people's um hearing tree falls and saying that is a Bigfoot that pushed down a tree. It confuses me because it pushes down one tree. And if the people that hear it, let, let's say a Bigfoot pushes down a tree and and there, he wants to scare away some hikers or campers. Why is it just one tree? It pushes down one tree and suddenly the campers are like, oh my God, did you hear that? <laughs> uh, maybe the wind, the wind did it. And then they continued. You know, don't you think that the Bigfoot would be standing there going, what the? Well, I'm just going to push down another tree or I'm going to scream. Like, it just doesn't make sense that it just pushes one tree and goes, oh, that didn't work. I'm just going to go home. <laughs> it doesn't, you know, so. But now if there's many trees being pushed down and then you get roars. Because a lot of eyewitnesses or people say that these creatures push down trees because they want you out, want to scare you away. Right, so you think that they would scream and howl and do other stuff other than just push one tree down. So. Absolutely. But, you bet. But really, I mean, <clears throat> if something simple works, why not? If if knocking on a rock works to scare somebody, it's pretty easy. True, but you have to be. <clears throat> Uh, kind of a fraidy cat if you're going to we run don't run away that. If, if one does right? one clap. Well, <laughs> that's true but uh, think big rocks oh, no well i imagine if a big rock had been thrown i actually believe that when they start throwing rocks at you i think that's the time where you might want to start kind of leaving the area yeah because i think that might be their last resort before the next one is you know running up to the short little blonde guy and twisting his head off I told you by throwing rocks, <laughs> twist. <laughs> right? I actually have a theory that I've been thinking about. You know, it's usually not only the guys who have guns, you know, that are getting these big rocks thrown at them, but they're doing the wood knocks and they're doing the howls and they're playing, you know, the, the calls and stuff like that. They don't know what that communication is for them. What if they're like insulting them and, you know, being jerks by doing that? And the reason they're getting these big rocks thrown at them is because they're pissing them off. Yeah. They're like, dude, you don't, you know, why are you knocking on that? That's a sign of danger. Or why are you yeah. playing that call? That call is a distress call. That's my mom crying over, you know, my brother's cousin died or something like that. And you're wondering why you're getting stuff thrown at you. I think that they are doing that because we have never had big rocks thrown at us. Yeah. Never. Mm -hmm. But we are not disrespectful. So I, that's my theory. I think it's because they're doing those things that they're pissing off Bigfoot. Well, we've I, had I've had small rocks thrown. Yes, like but little, never little big ones. ones and never chucked at your head and in like the sunroof of your car. Right. Or things like that. Do you remember when and when we were filming Searching for Sasquatch? 
eight uh, the Ohio grass man. Do you remember how we were in the forest and we heard something? We saw Aishan and I, I was in front of you guys. Then all of a sudden, I could see that there was something like a shadow and I'm trying to film it. I'm filming. And then that whatever threw something or maybe something fell out of the tree. And as soon as it like it was a log or something, remember that you guys were all standing there when that thing was thrown. And it, and then I turned. And as I turned towards where it hit in the forest beside me, I heard whatever I was trying to get close to run through the forest. And I think it did exactly what it was doing. I, I think it 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 was distracting me. And it did that because as soon as it hit, I turned. It scared me. And as I turned, whatever I was getting close to ran off into the forest. Well, right? do you remember when we walked into we were walking into the woods that night? And we didn't I don't think we had cameras going yet. And there was remember there was the one group that I said in the Romo view we saw in the forest that we yeah. didn't actually go into that part. We were coming in kind of that way, but we were going to go around to the peninsula. Yeah. And when we were going around the corner that was kind of going in the direction of that other group, we yeah. heard a whoop, a knock, a whoop, but they were like from all around us. Yeah. And we all just stopped and went. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think Which it was at that moment. <laughs> Which is uh, which is shocking. I'm usually always trying to film, but sometimes, yeah. yeah, some of the most incredible stuff that's ever happened to to me in my life, I never got on film because it happens too fast. Mm -hmm. I don't have time to turn on the camera. Mm -hmm. right? And you know, people go, well, "Why?" I said, "Well, I only have so much battery life, so many batteries, right?" So we're in the middle of the mountains. I don't have a plug-in. I'm like, I'm just going to walk over to this tree and plug it in. <laughs> it's not like that. Um, about the communication, I have something very interesting that. Um, so we're going to be playing the Roars, the Minnesota Roars, um, a little bit later in this show. And when you hear these roars, they're actually they're absolutely incredible, and I'm talking to the viewers, the people that are about to hear it. But when you listen to it, when we were all talking about, well, it they, it sounds angry, or scared, or hurt. What if, and this is a big what if, and it's going to be like woo woo kind of craziness. What if one of the Bigfoots are giving birth and when all and and that's the, the 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 angry painful roar and you remember how they all started going crazy like with all these different whoops and screams and roars well maybe they were celebrating a new birth anyway i know it sounds completely crazy to think like that i you know and it's always good to try and look at it at different angles but if you think of labor, right, and you think how painful it is, and nobody's ever been around uh, when a Bigfoot's giving birth, I imagine it'd be just as painful. And then everyone celebrates after it's born. But anyway, that's just my two cents, you know? So when you listen to it, you know, instead of thinking of it as, as hurt or, or mad, maybe, Maybe they were mad because it's, you're big, get out. <laughs> when I was listening to it today, they it sounded sad. It sounded really yeah. mournful. Like it was like they were in mourning. And then and when they all started going, I was like, it was like everybody crying over something that had happened. Yeah. Like maybe it was a death, a funeral or, or something, you know, something happened and one of them died. So that's what it sounded like to me. It definitely <coughs> didn't sound like a happy thing to me um and that's why when i can't remember who wanted to do it, it was, somebody wanted to play the roars when we were out in the field like call blast it and i was like eh. i want to i, want I to didn't want i didn't want to play that those roars because i'm like Listen, oh, that sounds go, friendly <laughs> yeah i want to go out into an area and i i want to blast them just to see what you know if we get a response or you know i think yeah. it'd be quite interesting um has has anyone analyzed the roars? I don't has think anyone, so. 
Not that I'm other work. than you with your computer stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, I've looked at it, um, but I'd like to get someone that is a sound expert, mm -hmm. like a like a someone that's an expert on um, you know peaks and valleys, and you know. So if anyone out there that is watching this, uh, if you know someone that is a specialist on audio and and sounds and animal sounds and having to look at it and and tell us if it's being manipulated by a computer or or anything be our guest we're more than welcome to they they would need the files from us not the not the files that are yeah in the song. because this, i know the sound engineer did clean up the one on the it sounded like he cleaned up cleaned it up a little bit to take the crickets out and stuff like that who was when that he put it, the sound engineer when he put oh, the words on the when, song yeah uh, yeah i would just send them the raw i i, I have the raw file i mean we both do but you know, if someone wanted to have the raw file, I'd give it to them for them to, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, this so, is for you, thinker thunker. Uh, <laughs> <give us> a, <laughs> this, I think that's this, his name. This is uh well, I think David Ellis is probably the guy that I would contact for looking at the looking at the sounds on the computer. Mm -hmm. Um, but I will say that the the roars for the listeners out there that are unfamiliar with them. The roars were recorded on a man, an elderly man's back porch. And when I look at that property, the 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 thick woods comes right up to the back door. I mean, the, this guy did not have a backyard. <laughs> so uh, he he left the recorder on his back porch, and it was one of those really old ones from like the 1970s where you push the two buttons down on the cassette. And he told one person that this was happening and he was terrified that somebody would find out that this was going on there because he thought that people would think he was crazy if he told anybody. So he told this one native gentleman that I know who was really excited, helped him with the recording to get it to us and was trying to get him to let us come out there and look around. In the meantime, the fellow died. Because he was elderly, yeah. but he so that was camera or nothing. Didn't yeah, he, he wanted nothing to do with it. He was he he was thoroughly scared of all the songs and he wouldn't go out there, which he wouldn't go back into the forest after that. He wouldn't even go in his backyard. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's sad that he was that scared, but I think it would have been really awesome to go out there. Absolutely. We, we did investigate, you know, fairly close. Yeah, I mean, we did. the creatures move around so we were and, miles away from where uh, it was captured so we were, were there we? to investigate you yeah. know what could have caused these sounds and these uh, these roars where we did um, go to spend a lot of the time well for number 10 um, searching for Sasquatch 10 the Minnesota roars which you can watch on Tubi or Amazon Prime and uh, you can see all about that but we we, we spent quite a bit of time in an area close to that location and when we played the roars for the property owner he said he had heard ones like that before just not so close so we knew we were on the right path with this and and that particular property when we scoped out that property prior to our expedition jenna and i had gone out there in may just to look at the property and see if we thought this would be a good spot to do part of our expedition at and when we got there, we actually saw Bigfoot in the daytime in the open. Um, it was pretty awesome. So I'm like, yep, we're coming here. This is where we're coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was great. It was great. If anybody wants to see the actual, I guess, the area where the guy, where this old man captured it, that would be in the She Squatches documentary. Because that's the, the reservation. Right, that they were caught on. No, they weren't no. at the reservation. No, no. Oh, he didn't live on the res reservation. No, no. Oh, he okay. lived close to it, though. He was he was fairly close to it, but but no. But we were close to the reservation too, where we were at. Yeah, yeah. So when when I was in Texas with Todd Parsons and 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 Shane Lee, we actually I caught on camera on video the audio of the roars just like that 
actually on, but they were further away. They were further away, but the very similar roars I ca caught in real time when I was there. So it's, yeah, these were just so close. They must have been within, within 100 feet in the forest, easy for them you, to be that loud and that close. You could hear some that were close and some that were further away, you know, that they were interacting with towards the end of it. Yeah, you could tell. I think there's four, four audio uh, clips that we have. I I sent the two main ones that 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 we have been working with mm -hmm. to yeah. search for the show tonight. So when we come back from the break, we'll we'll play those for everybody. Yeah. But and yeah, put, yeah, and we caught uh, and when we're there on Randy's ranch, we caught that howl that really scared Tammy. Right, Tammy? Oh yeah, yeah everything oh, scares me. <laughs> when she ran, it was like Scooby Doo. <laughs> Yeah, that's me. Run. I see that. <laughs> Tammy always runs. She's such a punzi. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. She's not. Actually, I was actually surprised yeah. that Tammy was like, okay, let's go. We went directly into the, <laughs> the forest. And that's where we found the spider web tree structure, I call it. Oh, yes. Big red tree structure. Oh, well, did, I mean, only did because Randy of Randy ever find it? Yes. Did but he? So he told me that it was broken. He said it was on the ground. Hmm. He was supposed to show me photos of it, but he called me and, and said, exactly, where exactly is this tree structure? And I told him where it was. And then he said to me, I think I have the text that it was it was destroyed and on the ground. Hmm. I told him, I said, take some photos. I'd like to see that. But, you know, he just gets really busy. He is. He's traveling now, too. So there's a question in the chat room. Uh, Jeremy's asking, what do you think about sound blasting? I would like to do that with my thermal drone that I can hook up a speaker to and see if I could pick something up. What are your thoughts on that? So are you talking about strapping it to the actual drone mm -hmm. and flying it up over the trees? Yep. That would be interesting. Um, the fact that the sound would be coming from way up into the sky <laughs> might confuse any of these creatures because you know even though these creatures are like you know eight nine ten feet tall i don't think they fly so <laughs> I, I don't i don't know if it would like it would be interesting because you wouldn't have the trees if you flew it just over the tree tops you wouldn't have any trees to muffle the sound so the sound would go even further but the but, you know, depending on where you are, like where I live, the trees are 200 feet, some of them. Mm -hmm. So unless you're flying it over trees that are like, you know, 50 feet, you know, it, yeah, it'd be interesting. I, I'd love to see that. So this particular gentleman lives in Minnesota and he has a thermal drone, thermal drone. Well, we're coming back. Come out with us. I'd like to see that. I, I would love to be able to get thermal footage uh, right. of, of, of just everything going on, like us walking into the forest, see if we can capture any of the creatures, you know? That would be amazing. Uh, let's, uh, let's take your name down. We'll, uh, we'll contact you after the show. <laughs> I think that would be, that would be great. It'd be great fun to, to, to have that. He said uh, it's a DJI drone and I can attach a speaker to it. Nice. Yeah. No, I know exactly which one he has. Okay. I know it's bigger. It's a bigger than yours, uh, Jenna. Uh, well, it's teams. G what? It's the teams. It's the teams. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just just so we know it's, it's the one that you have. Okay. The one that Jenna flies. The yeah. one that yes. I can fly because of you. Thank you. <clears throat> you <have laughs> Great teacher. Do you have a license to fly it? And I'm, I'm not trying to rat you out. I'm just asking because that would be kind of cool. Do you but, really need one? You don't. Well, only, only for the bigger ones. Like yeah, so the one he has is this big and has really powerful uh, uh, Fleur that's on it. And is what is his name? Jeremy. He was on our show a few weeks ago. Oh, Jeremy. Yeah, yeah. I totally come out with this. I totally <laughs> want to see this drone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think that would really be great. Uh, that would All be. Right. Yeah. Let's go to our commercial break. So stay tuned, everybody. We'll be right back.
Yay. And remember, it's still being recorded, so watch what you say. <laughs> oh, yes. so is this part going on YouTube still? Yes. Like, yes. <laughs> right here. So don't pick your nose, Jason. We know. Damn it. I'm like, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, get a little whapper to stop yourself. We, we <laughs> this, have way too a, much this fun. This is a real you. us. This is yeah. a real us when we get out there. Oh, all yeah. Having fun and, you know. And yeah. we, but we get serious when something happens. We get serious real quick. Never. Oh, I'm yeah. like a scared little, little, little girl. Kid. Yes, he That's does. why this camera. On film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll throw the, I'll throw the camera. <laughs> you know. Well, you know, if I have this with me, you know, I might uh, be able to hold it against something a little bit bigger. Maybe not Sasquatch, but, you, <laughs> you know. You probably put yourself in front of that camera. <laughs> I'd be like, damaged. oh, my God. Uh, um, can you just take this, Mr. Bigfoot, and just film me? Yeah. I am Jason <laughs> Kinsey. My name is Jason Kinsey. <laughs> my oh, my gosh. We need Dan. to get that recorded uh, so we can put that in a song. My name yes. is Jason My name is Jason Yes. Yes. That would be fun. My name is Jason Kinsey. I can't wait for our next big adventure. What? What's happening? What's happening, you guys? It's going on YouTube. Talk it up. We always have a fun time. We oh. Do. Yeah, except for when I have my flash, my fl flash attack. I, I, I think you guys call it. Hot flashes? Yes. There we go. There we go. Whatever you guys call it. Huh? Whatever you call it. I don't know. Whatever you call it. What Welcome back thing? to the show, everyone. This is the Journey Radio Show, and hey, we're the She Squatchers. Why don't you check us out online at SheSquatchers.com, and there you can find all of our links to wherever we're going on. Uh, we do have a new event to announce that we haven't put on our website yet. We're going to be at ValleyCon again this year in Fargo in April, the weekend of April 18th, so we'll be featured at ValleyCon. That was so nice of them to invite us back. They, they loved us. So, and that was a really fun event. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. And how many fabulous people did we meet? I don't and even all, know. Oh, everybody looked fabulous too. We got our ears. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you got ears? I oh, got ears. They did. <laughs> I know. I got elf ears at first, and then I saw someone have those fabulous um, ears. animal ears. Yeah, furry ears. And I was like, those will be on my head soon. I and look they were. amazing. You know yes. what? If they had invited me, I would have wore those. So is it April? No, it's in October. October oh, you 18th. said April. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what were well, you saying, Jason, October. our guest? I was saying if they invited me, I would have been wearing those ears right beside you. Yeah. I knew you would. I knew you would. <clears throat> that's, a, that's a hint. Invite me down. <laughs> And we're we're working on an we're working on an event uh, coming up this fall that we that might put us on expedition after with Jason in the area again. So that'll be super fun, super fun. Yes, I can't wait. Yes, it's fun. So if so, anybody wants to see any of the Sasquatch adventures, you can find them on Tubi, Tubi yes. TV, Tubi or on Amazon Prime. Oh, Amazon Prime, you can. Somebody yes. told me that once you're on Amazon Prime, you are somebody. That's what I heard. Oh yeah? Really? Oh my god. I am a <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a somebody. You really love me. <laughs> really love me. They really love me. They really, really I love me. I'm somebody. <laughs> oh, yes. I could break out in a song right now. It has nothing to do with oh. all of those awards that you've won for your documentary, Jason. Nothing. That means nothing compared to being on Amazon Prime. <laughs> I right. pay them thousands of dollars for that. So I'm like, please, just give me an award. <laughs> Speaking please. of awards, Jason, how many awards now have you won? 25. Wow. It's a national film you. award. Wow. And, uh, I'm about to submit... Um, the an, another three of them to another uh, film festival in England. Ooh, so it's going to be the Sea Squatchers. It's going to be nine, and it's going to be number ten. 
and they're yeah. very so excited the about number you win? <laughs> we'd they're, love to go to a viewing they're right. excited about number 10. good awesome okay. Yeah, I'm excited. Exciting. Do you ever get to go to those film awards then, or do you just no? Send the film? Well, because of COVID, things have just. Psh, I'm I'm hoping by next year that I'll be able to go to some of these film festivals. A lot of them are like, oh, you know, England, Germany, um, Japan. I got a got a uh, go award. Me too. Got worn out for my rest. Oh no, I I wore. <laughs> And uh, yeah, in the United States, I got like a couple places. Um, nothing in Canada yet. And Canada don't love me. They don't love me here. <laughs> but that's the way it the is. With, even with them. bands, you know, they're popular everywhere else first, and then they're popular here. Like you have to prove yourself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now the United States, you guys are being really good, really, really good. Cool. You know, I can't. No complaints. We you know, love the, Canadians. There's going to be four more Searching for Sasquatch documentaries being filmed this summer. Wow. So that's going to be exciting, yeah. I, I think we'll be there. Yeah, you'll be, yeah, you'll be uh, one, uh, two of them, at least yep. two of them. Yay. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go after, so I'm going to Florida to do the swamp, the skunk ape. Oh, for fun. So that's going to be fun. My luck, I'll get kissed by an alligator. <laughs> One, five, six all there <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh i want to go after the the flying reptile of new mexico the flying yes reptile. we want you know, to talk pterodactyl or it has a new name i don't know why they keep changing the names but anyway the pterodactyl you know the creature that they've seen in new mexico mm -hmm. uh, mothman well, i'm gonna go and do a documentary on mothman which will be fun i can't wait for that and um, yeah, um, maybe go overseas to Scotland. Go at the oh, little I people, know. the leprechauns that people say they see there. And the well, fairies. would they like us all four to be there? I mean, as a, like a group, it will yeah, help maybe. you film. Maybe. I'm I mean, so I'm so short I, that I might get confused for a leprechaun. <laughs> I'm like, You're one there. No, I'm the filmmaker. <laughs> right, I'm here. <laughs> Let go. I have no gold. Over there? I have no gold. Someone okay. give me gold. <laughs> yes, oh, really? we do have a friend over there. Shout out to Ian. Hey, Ian. Uh, we've got a couple more, too, that are Yo, over there. Ian, I'm coming down. You want to come with me? We'll go. And yes, he would. He totally oh, would. He Let's totally promise. would. He totally okay. would. I'll have hey, my Ian, people. Ian, Ian sent me a troll. Ian sent me a troll, and he is adorable. <laughs> He was gonna send one to Jenna and I. I wonder what happened to that. I don't know. Ah, uh, things happen I got at my the troll. right time. <laughs> <laughs> Jenna's like, I got or my. not at all. So I guess you could say he <laughs> told you. <laughs> no, he's huh? really cute, and he's he's he's. It, it was a very special gift. Um, that was We're it was giving... made made by Sorry. the Sami people, and uh, the Sami people are the indigenous reindeer herders in northern Norway. Oh, and yeah. they're they're indigenous, so they're like the Indians of Norway, basically. And he he had lived with them for 15 years in their village. And he said that whenever he sees me on Facebook or in any video, he's like, gosh, she looks just like them. <laughs> he called you a troll? No, he called you a family <laughs> person. Oh, she family. looks like a reindeer. I am so glad I was on mute for that very loud laugh. <laughs> Tell me. And no, he caught. He he said I look like the Sami people, <laughs> and they oh, they no. every time, and they they really? everybody in in Norway is afraid of the trolls. Yes, I like to book one ticket to Norway, please. Yes, <laughs> uh -huh. great. Yeah, think, I wouldn't go after the troll are. people. You... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He said Lordy. that the Sami people are their protectors of the forest, so that the trolls look after them. So they make these troll dolls out of clay. And they put a little troll magic in there, and they're supposed to be protecting you. And so he sent it to me and told me the ceremony to name it, and then it would be my protector. Aww. I think that is so, such a beautiful thing. How wonderful. How nice, yeah. Ian. Seriously, that is a very, very nice thing, considering yes. kind. And so you've already, and I, you're, you're already I named, taken. 
you're already taken by this guy that sent you that the troll. <laughs> No, he's like, just our friend. Like, he's Please? just our yeah, friend. Cancel it now. Okay, yeah, forget it. <laughs> You're the troll people, okay? He's just our friend. And I was going through a hard time at the time, and so he sent this to me to, to help. He thought it would be helpful for me, so that was very kind. But, yeah, it would be awesome to go over there. And, and he would, if you go over there, Jason, we'll hook you up with him, I'm sure, if we don't get to go. So for all the people out there watching that do not know who we are, uh, especially the She's Watchers, you can also purchase a book that I published and it has L little JJ and little JJ meets the she squatchers as little little girls and they have to go out and save Bigfoot because Bigfoot's in trouble and it's a children's book and oh yeah look at that Jenna Stop has there. one too <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it has like lots of colorful uh, you can uh, you can find it on uh, Amazon because they love me. You know, my little uh, doggo Amazon. is in there. <clears throat> little doggo sugar. Yeah, I mean, basically, if, just Google Jason Kenzie. Uh, what about know, the other book, Jason? What about the other one? The, yeah, there we go. We're trying to searching, focus on it. Searching for Sasquatch. Territory. Oh, I can't see it. It's not focused on it. Now see? it is. This is it here. What does it say? Ah, Sasquatch. And it has, uh, it's backwards. Are you seeing it backwards? No. no. I'm no? seeing, okay. is mine backwards? No. Oh, good. Oh, no, no, it isn't. Anyway, yeah, it's called uh, The Hidden Treasure of Bigfoot Valley, and uh, it has the sea squatchers. Have can't... you read it, Jenna? I have. It was, I, okay, I knew Jason would do a really good job of it, but I didn't think it would be as into and like entertaining as it was um and some of the lines that he that he put in there he has said when we've been out so it's kind of like it was you like it being in out. his voice <laughs> yes that's exactly that yes that's how i what i meant to say in many words i, I actually i was i was working yesterday and i actually like one of my clients he only comes in every once in a while and so he's like so what's new and then like randomly during our session i'll say so did i tell you i'm a comic book hero <laughs> <laughs> I haven't read it yet. Dang it. Every time I think I'm caught up with everything, there's something else I haven't done yet. I just watched the Minnesota Wars today. <laughs> really? Wasn't well, it fun? Well, you get, you get, yeah, well, you get picked up by one of the Bigfoots. And you're, I know. You're I, need to, I need to read it. I don't even have one yet. <laughs> well, you, well, they're only nine ninety nine. dollars They're $9 yeah, Amazon. On Amazon. Oh, I mean, yeah, it made them very inexpensive, so people would want to buy it, and you can read it to your kids, you know. Or you can bring it to events and have us sign it. Oh, ooh, ooh, wouldn't that yeah. be cool? Yeah. Well, I have twenty-one of them over here in the box. So. <laughs> well, we have to wait until we're all together, and then we can sign all of it. All <coughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Actually, sure. someone has already sent me their copy for us to sign, but I don't know how I'm going to get Tommy to sign it anytime soon. Yeah, that's going to be. <laughs> You yeah. have to mail it to me, and I'll have to yeah. mail it to them. Yeah. Well, It'll Jim, be very road-weary by the time they get it back. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's all It'll be all dry, and the pages we'll will be correct. I've got a hold of it. It's like, <laughs> right. and shattered. Oh, you guys, we got to play the roars before oh, we yes, get all the time. Play the roars. roars. Okay. okay. Sarge, can we play the roars, please? That one. It does sound sad. Well, that's mad. Maybe it's stepped in a. What was that? They are. Uh, 
Wow, that sounds crazy. Like just hearing it, like, like just right now. Like I heard that squeal. Mm -hmm. You hear that squeal? Mm -hmm. Like it was like a really high pitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a. I mean, I mean, it would be pretty masterful if someone made that. Yeah. You know? And just the people that, I mean, the person that it came from is an elder from the tribe. And he's and the only person that had heard it. And it's not like he wanted fame or anything or money. Or no, anything. he didn't. He's like, oh, didn't no, we have it. Yeah, no, he didn't. He well, just wanted, he wanted us to be able to go out there and look into it. That's what he wanted. He wanted us to go help this guy. And, unfortunately, and we did. And we did. So for all you guys watching, if you guys want to go and check out number searching for Sasquatch 10, you'll see all the adventure and excitement and scaredy cat Jason as, uh, <laughs> climbs up into a, into a, uh, what to was a that? Tree. A, yeah, hunting blind, I guess. Yeah. Deer stand. Deer stand. A deer stand, yeah. Yeah, that was really freaky, you know, when you're all by yourself. I yeah, I walk that I walk that property a lot by myself at night, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Jason, I never asked you what is your favorite piece of equipment other than the cameras? What would be your favorite piece of equipment to have with you at all time out in the woods on your adventures? <clears throat> well, other than my my camera, and I would say. I don't know. I mean, having a having a you know my flashlight, especially when you can use it for multiple purposes, right? You can. You know, it comes with string, so and, and a piece of flint, so you can make a fire. You know. But that's more than one. <laughs> I mean, I see what you're saying, like the survival little yeah. pack, like this big mm -hmm. with the fishing line and the yeah. Well, I mean, my favorite would would have to be a recorder, right? Obviously, Just, my my camera. But when I'm out there, and if I'm not filming, I'm always carrying a stick, like like something that I can use to deter. Like you'll never, you know, depending on the animal, if it's going to get you, it's going to get you. But a lot of times, a lot of these animals, when they're attacking, they they don't know exactly what they're getting themselves into. So if you can deter them even for a second can you know that that stands for either life or death for that split second see that's smart something mm -hmm. so simple as a walking stick could you know potentially save your life exactly do you use the one that that um, folds up or do you use a nice solid wood yeah solid wood one i mean over the years some of the, some of the first nations uh they have given me walking sticks like made me walking sticks so and i have one here give me a sec just talk amongst yourselves when i find it <laughs> okay, Jason. <laughs> somebody were asking in the, in the chat what is the sound in the background that is crazy that that high-pitched squealing we don't really know what that is and, and and that's that's part of the mystery in itself. We we really don't know what that is. Now it was recorded on. We were told it was recorded on one of those old cassette players that back from the seventies that you have to push push play the and record at the same time. So I don't know if it was a sound coming from the from oh. that kind of old recorder or if there actually was that sound going. No, I don't because know. It, it fluctuates. It wasn't a constant yeah. sound. You know, that's a good question. I've been wondering that same thing. I don't know I, what that I, is. To me, it sounds like a female. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Do we think? don't know. Can't find it. I think I heard both. Yeah. And it, it, it almost sounded like there was some whining in there, too. Like, almost like dogs whining or coyotes There's whining. Like really high. That was a high pitch one. Yeah. yeah. Like mm -hmm. really high pitch, I but I don't know if I heard any coyotes in there. No, it didn't sound like a coyote to me. No, because coyotes don't go that long. That you know they'll go and then no, they'll dip, dip, it dip, was dip. 
it wasn't the yipping. It was more of a whine, yeah. like a dog, like a dog whine, yeah. like that. Yeah, so yeah. Do we have time to listen to it one more time? Yeah, we could. Could we play it one more time, Sarge? It gave the, me it, goosebumps in my it legs. Was, it was the other one, I think. It was at the same time when they were all going at it that, yeah. you, that I could hear that yeah. at the, at, it'd been the back. <clears throat> yeah, that's very interesting for sure. I mean, I've heard so many different animal sounds over the, over the years. I don't, I ne never heard this, even when I was young, even when I was young and in the, in the forest, I remember I must have been 22 and I was with a girlfriend and we were walking through the forest and it was at the path it was on a path and there was a bit of a an incline beside us and all of a sudden we heard like actually the tree just shook shook above uh above us and it just shook violently and we jumped down and we bent down and my uh girlfriend at the time she had a gun she held it up we were expecting a, a bear because it knew, we knew there was grizzlies in the area People have seen it. It didn't make a sound though. It just shook violently and it just and ran. And we and we heard it crash through the forest. We're like, wow, that was weird. Like, and I think I joking jokingly said, Sasquatch, right? Sasquatch. You know, and we're like, no. Because you know, we weren't into the Sasquatch at the time. We just heard the legends. We actually thought it was a bear this entire time and then when i started investigating it in 2019 and interviewing people and hearing stories and and i've heard that story of them shaking something and i triggered it i remember thinking back so yeah it's just weird it's uh you know this lore of bigfoot is incredible right i just need that daytime sighting so yeah I mean, well on film <laughs> because on we've film. all had daytime sightings but it's not on film yeah why didn't you put that in the documentary jason jenna and i both had a sighting there and tammy had a sighting there and it didn't end up in the documentary <laughs> yeah well i don't know why i didn't i didn't have any footage of you guys talking about it oh that's why i didn't have any footage okay like, oh I just well didn't. I didn't even mention it too. I mean, that's weird. I should have, you know. I'll get back to work. I'll just, okay, I'm starting it now. Scrap it. Part two. Part two. Part two. <laughs> Minnesota Roars. Part two. Well, you know what? This summer, when we do, when this summer, when we actually do, go out, and I get you to talk about it, like about the situation, and then I will flash back to um, Randy's property. And I'm talking about it. Okay. I thought like, we did. Uh, I thought you did include it. Mm -hmm. No. Huh. I don't think I did. Okay. I mean. All right. Yeah. I mean, there were so many tree structures. Yeah. All over the place. And he's still and finding stuff. We, we were there for so long, too. And so much got filmed that I'm sure it was hard to pick and choose what went in there and what didn't. Yeah, oh there was gosh, a lot. Yes. Of How much footage was there? There was a lot, a lot. There was easily 50 hours of footage. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> easily. And to put that into, that's why it's an hour and a half long. Yeah. 
Right. It, but it's amazing, Jason. It's such a cool video. It is. It is. is. I'm glad that you guys liked it. Yeah, you did such a good job. You did, and we didn't get to see it before he put it out. And wow, <laughs> wow, I was so impressed. I was like, "You're so awesome!" And then the she squatches doc. That was great. Eleven thousand people have watched it. Wow. Eleven thousand. Wow. So How many? Those are all my friends. Eleven. Eleven thousand people. Wow. Look at that. And it climbs, eleven thousand of our closest friends. It climbs about two hundred. <laughs> yes. So it climbs two hundred people a day. Like two hundred wow. of viewership. Wow. Right. So hopefully. Thank you for watching it, everybody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hopefully, the five people who have tuned in to see this now, me, <laughs> five people, they might go and watch it. But, That's right. Yeah. If you tell five people and they tell five people, <laughs> there will be a lot of people yelling at me. <laughs> what what the heck? We'll have a yeah, I've had some really good responses. That's to, awesome. Uh, number nine, number nine, the she squatches the uh, number ten too. So, yeah, it's great. I can't wait. You guys are so much fun to to hang out with. Yeah, so you. we miss you. Oh my gosh. Yes. I know it's so weird. Like you know, after spending like two weeks. You know, investigating, and then all of a sudden, we're going you know, home. Back on the plane, and I'm like, okay, well, this is you know, laughing and joking for ten days, and then suddenly, yeah, I'm coming. It's you know. kind of depressing. It is get back home. I was kind of depressed. I was like, oh. <laughs> well, it, us it, four, same it's, for me. It's like we're the Scooby Doo team, but not. Right? Scooby -Doo. <laughs> you know, I'm the Scooby Doo. Yeah, you're the Doo <laughs> in our Scoobies. <laughs> We do have a good time, and it, that's it, all right. You know, I'll be shaggy. <laughs> we, can, we can, you know, it's it's like we live in a little commune that travels around looking for Bigfoot, and then, yeah. you know, our communal meals, and everybody sitting at the fire, and yes. let's go, and uh, it's it's a good time, and we have yeah. we have a lot of fun, but we get some serious work done at the same time. So yes, yeah. the it's hair. not easy. The hair. We still means. have the hair. Better, uh, ask people where the, ask Jason where people can reach him at. Yes, Jason, where can people reach you at? So you can find me. I, I have a TikTok account under searching Sasquatch and Instagram searching for Sasquatch. Uh, like I said, you just Google my name, Jason Kenzie, either Animal Adventures or searching for Sasquatch or Jason Kenzie Bigfoot. Uh, you'll find all my animal adventures. Uh, I have 400 videos of crazy animal uh, adventures I've done before I started getting into Bigfoot and everything will lead down to my website. I have a website searching for Sasquatch.ca. Uh, yeah, you just, you will if you go down the rabbit hole of Jason Kenzie, you'll find all these different adventures and different stuff that I've done. And in fact, if you punch in she squatchers, you'll be able to find me too. And, you know, yeah, you can find me in so many different places and uh, you can find all the documentaries on Tubi or Plex.tv or Amazon uh, video or um, Apple TV. You can watch it on Apple TV, yeah. You can watch it on uh, on Roku. You Is are Roku? all over Roku, the place. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You all can over the world. Jason you can watch everywhere. it all over the world. Yeah, it's, it's uh, Searching for Sasquatches worldwide. You can watch it yes. anywhere. And that song means we're at the end of the show. And thank you, Jason, for coming on with us tonight. Thanks, guys. And give us some feedback on the roars, everybody. Yes. Give us some feedback. Send us some messages about that. I've been getting some messages and from people who've been watching the shows, and they've been really positive. So thank you for that, everyone. Thank you, Jason. Thank you for watching. More to come. More to come. Thank you.